So, um, I'm back again. Uh, right, I've had a few, oh, I don't know how many I've had really, maybe a few hundred requests to do, or they want to see me do my bread, my bread maker that I got a couple of weeks ago. Um, I've done one loaf, no, no, I've done two loaves in it. My first loaf was, it was, it was all right. Uh, it, it rose and it looked like a good loaf. But the texture inside wasn't quite right, so I've um, I, I had a bit of a faff around, and I've uh, I actually got a, a recipe from um, Dawn, who sent me uh, this bread book, and uh, the actual recipe turned out really well actually. So I'm gonna have another go at it, and it's it's basically. Um, for all intents and purposes, it's it's a it's a white loaf, but with a with a slightly uh, small well a small amount of wholemeal flour in it as well, and um, I don't know if that makes the difference or what, but uh, see what you think to it anyway. Right, so this is the ingredients you need for for this particular loaf. I mean, the basic loaf there is. Um, probably the five ingredients that you'll always use but for this one um, you've got a very strong white flour make sure it's it's strong flour for making bread not just normal flour strong wholemeal flour um, fast acting dried yeast um, for this recipe we're using um, a dried milk powder semi uh, a skimmed one, um, some butter, uh, salt and sugar, and then lastly some uh, lukewarm water. So I'll start off by. Oh, by the way, for this particular bread maker, you got a measuring jug for the water and a, a, a useful spoon. That's for that's the teaspoon end, and that's your tablespoon end. So. We'll start off for the for, for every um, uh, bread maker. There'll be um, a particular order that you'll do, uh, or you put the ingredients in into the bread maker. For this Panasonic one, you start off with the yeast. So that's what I'll I'll do. So I've got my tin out of the bread maker, and I've got it on the scales. So I'll I'll put a, a teaspoon of yeast in there to start off with and then switch the scales on and I'll put in 425 grams of strong white flour Next, I'll put in 75 grams of strong wholemeal flour. Next thing will be um, need skimmed milk powder, so that's one and a half teaspoons. That's that, and then we need 25 grams of butter. Mm 
that's been that's 25 grams what I'll do is I'll just cut it up a bit so it mixes in better I mix it I usually cut it up into little chunks like that I'll add that in just spread it all around the inside of the pan Right, and then we want one and a half teaspoons of salt. and one and a half teaspoons of sugar I think this is the best part about making your own bread is that you just know exactly what's going into it right so that's that and then Lastly, we need 320 mils of lukewarm water. Right, so pour in your water. And that's basically it. Um, so what we'll do now is I'll transfer this into the bread maker. Okay, so we'll put the uh, the bread mix, which if I can get it right, I'll show you what it looks like. Like that, you see, everything's in there. So just plonk your, your tin in and then for this loaf it's um well for this machine it's I want it on large and it is uh that'll be for four hours. I'm gonna put it on a dark crust. So that's added another five minutes to it. And then basically close it and then press start. Um, right, so now we put it, the tin in the in the uh, bread maker and we switched it on. Uh, so basically all it'll be doing, with, with this particular one, it rests for about half an hour. And then um, uh, what it will do, it will start kneading it all together and then it'll uh, rise and then bake and in four hours, just over four hours time, it'll, uh, it'll be ready and I'll show you what it looks like. Right, so we're just about there now. A um, few seconds to go. It's exciting. How long has it been in the bread maker again? Um, it's uh, four hours and five minutes. Yeah. And what's it called, this uh, this bread? It's, it's called, well, it's called, there we go, it's called a farmhouse loaf. Right, here we go, Are you ready? Ooh, nice. Look at that.
Right, let's get it um, turned out and have a look at it. Anything could happen now. Keep your fingers crossed. Is it? It's coming. It's coming. It's it's coming. Thanks, love. Ah. Yeah, it's hot as that. Very hot. Yum. So there we have it. The smell is amazing. So what we're going to do now, leave it, can you smell it? Can you smell that? Look at that. So what I'm going to do now is, I'll leave it overnight with a towel covering it. And um, what I'll do is when I, when I slice it in the morning for some breakfast, um, I'll show you what it looks like inside. Okay, right then. See you in a bit. Right, so it's uh, Friday morning. Um, the loaf has been cooling all night. I actually got a confession to make. As you can see, you can see that I've already sliced it. Um, so, but I can show you what it's like. So I'll just get you. So there you go. It's, it's a lovely loaf. You really got. I mean, if you ever got a bread maker, you really need to try this recipe. Um, it makes almost perfect bread, and that's coming from somebody who's grown up with um, a dad who had his own bakery, and this is very close to uh, what he used to do. So, and it smells lovely as well, lovely and soft. Um, as you can see, I don't know if you noticed, but can you see how even the slices are? Now then, if you have trouble slicing bread, I've got this gadget for you if you're interested. It's called the Easy Slice. And it's got a, a thin side for thin, for thin slices. And you can turn it over, it's a little bit thicker. For, if you like a, a more of a doorstep slice. So what I'll show you, what you actually do is, you can imagine this before it was cut. You put your loaf on there. This is actually only designed for, uh, for bread makers, so this is a little bit wider. And what you do is, you get your knife and you just run it across these guides. So keep it flat to the surface and go all the way through your bread to the other side. And depending on which side you're using, you get an even slice every time. So I thought I'd show you that, because that's my latest gadget. And a top tip is, um, if you slice your, your loaf, completely and, and uh, freeze it uh, you can just get out what you need when you need it and it stays fresh so so there you go that's my farmhouse loaf hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time <laughs>